Do we have, have enough beverages in front of you? <laughs> All right, so I'm here with Eric and uh, Andre Williams um, of the film Agile, Mobile, Hostile. So just a question for either of you. How did this film get started? How did you guys meet? Um, how did we get... I'll, here, I'll help out. Okay, he got it. Like six years ago, I met Andre through a friend of mine, Joel Tabush. Because uh, Andre was recording on In The Red Records. And, uh, and we saw Andre play and we thought, Andre's amazing. And we really want to make a film about him. And the opportunity just didn't come along for a while. So in, uh, in 2006, we tracked Andre down. We went to Chicago. Uh, we met with Skip and Andre, told him our idea. And, uh, and the next day, Andre took us down to the south side of Chicago and we started filming almost immediately. Uh, in fact, the first shots in the movie are that first day of filming with him, him essentially directing those days. So we just felt like you know, it was important to make a film about someone who's a living legend in the, in the music industry that no one knows about. Yeah. He's like an unsung hero of so many artists of our generation. Yeah. So. Yeah. Andre, I've, I would, a friend of mine started a, a couple months ago actually started playing your CDs for me just because they had really affected him. I think like changed his life might be uh, an appropriate word. Um, so, you know, this film and then obviously things like the internet and distribution of CDs have got a whole new audience for your work. How, do, how is that changing how you're writing songs or how you're performing? Or is it just the same, same kind of deal? Um, well, it, it, could, it, it stopped me from drugging. That's one thing that it affected. And it made me get a brand new outlook on what Andre Williams is about. Now it's about, it's about my grandbabies, you know. It's no more uh, big time do-do nigger thing going on now. It's all about you guys. It's all about you guys. Is that a good answer? <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely. <laughs> so, uh, so how did, so how did, tell me, about, Eric, tell me about the film and, and um, how, how it progressed. I mean, like, what was the, the process of structuring the film as you're acquiring all this footage? I think initially we just started encountering so many people that had so many great stories about Andre. And as we collected those interviews, we realized that there was no possible way to illustrate them couldn't go back in time and, and have an illustration for some crazy story about him buying a bicycle on Ludlow Street to get back to the studio in 1986, you know. But at the same time, we were following Andre around, and Andre was having such a, a, a crazy year, um, you know, between finding an apartment, losing the apartment, getting in trouble with the law, playing shows, recording with John Spencer, going on tour with Skip, going over to Europe, that that really became... The film, like the things that were essentially maybe in our mind in the beginning were just going to be B-roll, became the movie. And so once we made that choice to just keep pursuing it, we didn't stop doing the interviews, but the story became really more Andre telling his own story. And uh, it, it, felt, it felt right, it felt more natural for it to be him showing you what his life's like, because we also realized a year in his life is a pretty good microcosm of what his whole life has been like. True guys. And and I got I got to give credit to this Jew boy. You know, I mean, don't be for him. A lot of this would not have happened. So even though I hate him, I mean I hate him. But gotta be skip. Gotta be skip. But but he's my man. He runs the show. And these kids have done as much as anybody could ask to be done for me. So I'm really a blessed nigger. Trigger nigger. Nigger trigger. Whatever you want to call it. I think, um, and then I think my audience, I think I got the greatest audience in the world. I really do. I got a bunch of kids who are definitely in love with Andre Williams. That's my, that's, that's, yeah. 
Is, is there any one story or anecdote from the year of filming that, that sticks out the most for either of you? Mm. What it, sticks out the most for you? Is there what now? A story from the, the time that we've been traveling around. What was your favorite moment or what's a story that you remember the most? So many. I have one. Okay. I'd say uh, in the middle of the year we went on a pretty long European tour, Eastern Europe, Croatia, Serbia, Germany. And Andre was qu quite sick on that tour. He had pneumonia. We didn't know it. None of we us didn't knew know it. he was sick. We just he was just having a hard time and just trying to get through that two-week period where we, we did all the dates, we did everything, but he was just so sick and uh, tired and, uh, you know, just the whole ordeal of trying to keep a tour together during the whole, you know, sickness and, you know, it was a very uh, unstable time that we were uh, traveling, you know, every day. And it was a very, very, very troubled time for Andre, just trying to get through it, but... He got through it. We did all the shows, but it was very, very tough. Yeah. yeah. As far as I'm concerned, that was my most difficult time. I think, I think, I think he probably hit it on the head. If it had have been for Skip, this whole thing would not have worked. That's my opinion. And if it hadn't have been for these kids, this would not come off. So I guess that's about the whole ball game wrapped up in one because Andre did not, Andre didn't do it. Uh, hadn't it been for these white boys and this one nigga, the trigger would not have been pulled. Don't forget one white girl too. Oh, the one white girl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I you gotta get Trisha in here even though she's Yeah, here. yeah. definitely yeah. Trish. No, no question about it. I think all of that put together um, made you and me being able to talk today has been with all of the corporation is the way that they feel about me. They love me, I appreciate it, and um, now that I'm not drugging and it's all about being up on my job. I think that's about it. Yeah. That's great. Thank you so much, guys. You got it. Was it. A, it was a pleasure talking to you. Thank you very much. Good luck with the film. Right. Okay. Yeah.